Here is our second landing page in the Shape landing page series. Again, we've brought across the same style from the other pages in the similar colors. So let's take a look at this page. We've got the logo at the top here, a small logo, which you could obviously change out, switch with your own. We've kept the main primary background image, which you can see at the top. And again, that's got that opacity CSS class applied to it, giving it this purple sort of transparent effect across the image. Um, with the top, again, we've used the nice big bold headline inside the featured box. And then underneath that, we've got the supporting headline. Now the next part, we've added in a row, a darker row with a headline and then the call to action. So rather than having the call to action in the top area on the top row, we've highlighted it again with a separate darker row. If we click on it, we're using the same style call to action with the same colors, progress bar and the small headline. So this call to action stands out a little bit more from the top section. Now what you'll notice in this page compared to the others, a little bit more complex or it looks a bit more complex, but it's actually very simple when you've got the one element in place. So the main section in the middle, we're using the featured box again, but with the opacity applied to the featured box, it gives that purple color behind, making the font a little bit easier to read. Now you might wanna play around with the colors, maybe put in a darker color so this white font stands through even more. Or you might want to change the background row image, making this font slightly easier to read. And as you can see, this is a different background image in this entire row. And as we scroll down, it's the same for the next row as well. You can see it's a darker image. The font, again, is much easier to read on this image. And if we keep going down, we're using this same style into each different row here. Nice big bold headlines in each featured box. And then with the two, uh, two aligned text box is there and if we keep going down again a different image same featured box styling there and then we land on the bottom with a colored row again headline and then the call to action at the bottom you know to get started now opening up the overlay optimizer again so you can see with this page it has a completely different feel to it as it has lots of images and you could switch these images out with something in your own niche and really put a different feel onto this page entirely play around with the different images see how they look inside the featured boxes inside here using darker or lighter images and also changing the opacity color which you can change inside the page settings i'll show you that just now Okay, so here we are inside the live editor. And if I just scroll down, let's take a look at one of these um, background images or these featured boxes that we have here. So if we click on the featured box, the cog, you can see we've got white border opacity. So this is where the styling is applied, giving us this, this effect where it's got this sort of transparent purpley color behind the actual, um, behind the writing. Now inside it is actually a text block if we go to the text block here, you can see this is where it's done. It's a two um, column text that's been applied in here. You can see here we've got the text on the left and then text on the right. So this is a two column text block inside this featured box. Now, if I close them down, jump into page settings, we've got other scripts. And in here, we're looking for the opacity white border. I just scroll down. There's the opacity background, which is using the top row. There's your colors. And uh, this one here, there's the colors again, which you can change or you can increase the um, pixel width of the border, or you could decrease as well. And or you could change these RGB colors. You need to know the RGB colors compared to the hexadecimal color. And you obviously do a Google search, get your RGB colors, and you could change these RGB colors to change that purpley color at the back there. Um, obviously, first, if you're changing the image, you might want to check the image, change it, and see how it looks with the font in front of it. So a lovely page. Um, most of these elements are cloned throughout it to give the different effects. It does look quite complex, but it's not really. It's using different images, and then it's using the different featured boxes inside with the column on some of them or the text column layout and the single text layout. So that's the template, another landing page in this series. Make sure you check out the other two if you're using this landing page.